Hi, this is Vicki with Condi Systems Technical Support. And today I'm going to show you how to manage color in Adobe InDesign CS5 version. First of all, I'm going to start by showing you how to install your ICC profile. Your ICC profile is unique to your sublimation system. Uh, today we're going to demonstrate how to install the ICC profile for the GX7000, but the way you do this, you would do it the same for any sublimation printer. Your ICC profile is unique to your printer, so make sure that you have the correct ICC profile and that you have one before you continue to set up your color management. You can contact Condi at support at condi.com or you can call us at 1-800-826-6332 and ask to speak with support um, about getting your profile for your sublimation system. All you uh, con active Condi clients are entitled to a profile for your sublimation system, so I hope that you will uh, give us a call if you don't have one. So the first thing I want to do is copy, and then I'm going to minimize this. Once I've copied my profile, I can either go to Macintosh hard drive, or I can get to my hard drive through uh, clicking on Go, and then left click on computer and then double click on library I'm going to go to calls, color sync and then I want to double click on profiles and here I'm going to right click and paste my item which is my GX7000 Dytrans uh, highquality.icm now I'm done installing my profile once I have it in my uh, profiles folder then my profile is where it needs to be now what I want to do is go and pull my application, uh, open my application I mean, so that I can uh, configure it. So we're going to go to Adobe InDesign CS5 and we're going to open it. And I'm going to go to New Document and it's asking me to detail my document. So it doesn't matter right now what I put on the page because all I really want to do is demonstrate how to uh, set up your color management settings. So uh, all this looks fine for what we're going to do today. I'm going to click OK. That gives me a blank document. Now first off, ha first off I have to put something on the page and I'm going to draw a square because without something on the page I can't access all my settings. Now I can left click on um, edit and then I'm going to left click on color settings and in here I'm going to make some tweaks that will define my color for my GX7000 um, and I'm just going to go to custom because I want to show you how to do this from scratch your your art I'm sorry your working space RGB setting this is correct um, the sRGB IEC 61966 dash 2.1 uh, for CMYK US web coded swoop v2 and for your RGB color management policies, preserve embedded profiles, we're going to change that to convert to working space. And this is okay. We're going to check all three boxes here. We're going to scroll down to intent. If you don't see the intent settings, make sure that you've checked your advanced mode. Your advanced mode, as you can see, will give you the option to change uh, settings below the color management policies. Intent is going to be perceptual, as always and we're going to save this and for now I'm going to call it um, uh, actually what I want to call it is Condi GX7000 because that references that I'm going to use this setting only when actually only when I print my GX7000 so I'm going to click save and now I'm able to find it in my settings and I can click it in my settings it changes the field to what I want it to be which is the GX7000 setting and then I'm going to click OK. Now what I'm ready to do is go to my file print settings and uh, I'm going to land on the general tab of the general setting. Here's where I'm going to choose my printer which is right. If it's not right make sure you find your printer in your in your uh, drop down box. Now what I want to do is go to um, color management and in color management um, what I want to select here under my options is how I handle color. And to handle color, we want to choose let 
in Design Determine Color. With that chosen, we can choose our printer profile, which for the GX7000, you're going to choose the Ditrans GX7000 here, high quality. The one in, that, that we saved in the folder with your profiles earlier, that's the one you're going to see there. And if you don't see it, make sure you've closed your application and reopened it. If your application was open uh, prior to saving it, then you won't see it in the list. So make sure that uh, you're, you've closed it and reopened it if it was open before you installed it. Uh, once I've chosen my printer profile, and uh, I, everything looks correct here, what I can do is I can save my preset. So I'm going to click Save Preset, and I'm going to type Condi GX7000. And that's the setting I'm going to use when I'm printing to my sublimation printer. I'm going to click OK. Now what's going to happen is you're going to see this in your drop down. You can choose it before you print. Then you don't have to remember how to do this in the future. But hopefully you will. But if you don't, you have a save setting here. So I'm going to click uh, my preset, Condi GX7000. And now I'm ready to print if I was going to print. However, I'm going to cancel out of this because uh, all I really wanted to show you here is how to set up your color management settings. And for Eureka users who have uh, don't have the ability to flip your image from the driver, what you want to do now is to go to your object, transform, and you're going to select left click on flip horizontal. And what that does is flip your image so that you can print. And Epson people, you can save your presets on your driver to flip your image, and um, you don't usually have to do it in the application unless you choose to. Anyway, that's all for our demonstration on how to set up color management in InDesign. Hopefully, um, hopefully that if you have any questions, uh, give us a call at 1-800-826-6332. And but I hope this tutorial has been helpful. If not, feel free to contact us at support at condi .com. and if you have any questions at all you can speak to anyone in our Condi uh, support, support staff we're happy to talk with you if you're a Condi client and again my name is Vicki and thank you for your time